Hey guys, so today I wanna to talk to you about a film that I shot for the first time, and that is the Kodak 400T Max. It's a black and white film, and this is the first time I have shot with this film, as I just picked up my Nikon F4 just a few months ago, and everything I've put through it so far is just the film that Walmart carries, which is a color 400 film. So I've bought some films here and there, to try out some different box speeds and stuff. And so this is a 400 black and white film, um, T-Max by Kodak. And so I actually put it in the camera and forgot it was black and white. So a lot of these photos are nature photos or I was looking for the color and the flowers. And you'll see that they're all black and white because it's a black and white film. And so um, with that mistake, I do love these photos. A lot of them came out a lot more interesting than I thought they would or just kind of open my eyes to how um, film is gonna be when you shoot things. So I'm gonna go through some of these photos and just talk about what they are and where I shot them. And yeah, so here we go. All right, so the first photo we have here is in front of Otto's Cafe. Across the street, I set it up on a tripod with my new trigger release that I bought. And I did a 10 second exposure as some cars went by, as you can see. And I just really love the neon lights in front of this building on the old cafe. And I, like I said before, I forgot it was a black and white film. So as I was going through and taking this photo, I was thinking of the colors of the neon and the colors of the building and the bricks and how it varies from the other bricks. The big building are red bricks and the cafe are more of a yellow brick. And then the neon lights are obviously not white, but um, I really like how this came out with the car streaking across the front. So I just really like how this one came out. And then I have another one out front of Otto's Cafe and it's more of like right under the sign, um, right off the curb. And I shot this on a tripod as well. And it was like a two second exposure. As you can see, the leaves show a little bit of movement up by the neon light in front of the building. So I just really like how this one came out. The next one we have is a shot from Dripping Springs down in Oklahoma. And we were going to the waterfall and there's a bridge to get to the main platform where you're like right up like 20 feet from the waterfall. And I liked how the trees and everything kind of framed up the waterfall in the back there. So this is one of my favorite photos from that trip. And like I said, I thought it was a color film. So I was expecting it to have more greens and the water's bluish and everything because it's like spring fed. But I really like how this came out. I feel like it's really contrasty and the waterfall just kind of pops there in the middle despite all the other things that are going on. So. And then here we're looking at some flowers. They're just, they were yellow flowers and forgot it was black and white. And I really like how this came out. The bokeh looks really cool and the grain looks really good um, for a 400 film. You know, I'm new to film, so I'm not really sure if this is a low grain or a high grain or whatnot, but I really like how this photo came out. I like the sharpness and the subtle grain kind of really adds to the aesthetic of the photo, I feel. I really like it, so I'll probably definitely be buying this film again and uh, remembering that it's black and white from here on out. But then in the Nikon F4, you can do a double exposure. And so I did a double exposure of my wife with uh, May apples. And so I obviously had no idea how this was gonna come out. I don't do a lot of double exposures even in digital photography but I really, really liked how this came out. It's cool that a film camera offers that, and I'm sure there's plenty of film cameras out there that offer that, but it's just so cool. So I'll be doing more of those in the future, I'm sure. And then I had my wife take a photo of me. I just like this portrait. I like how the trees are kind of towering over me and she's obviously shorter than me. Um, that's given from the angle of her shooting up at me but i really like how this came out she framed her very well and i like the bokeh and how the trees kind of tower over and despite the harsh shadows on my face and stuff i really like it 
well, that's all the photos. So, so I appreciate you guys coming and watching. I'll be doing some more of these with uh, different films. Soon I'll be shooting a 3200 box speed film, black and white, and I'll be attempting hopefully to shoot the Milky Way or at least the stars, we will see. I picked up a trigger release um, recently, as you saw, and some of the photos in this mix were shot with that. And so I'm hopefully gonna get out somewhere dark enough to shoot some Milky Way shots on the film and I'll be doing a video over that. So I appreciate if you guys would like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or questions, let me know in the comments. See you guys next time.